So what is up guys, Nick here, helping you to master your technology, MacBook Air M2 first impressions. Now I'm not gonna do a full on unboxing. I did go with the Midnight colorway and this has been a product that I've been very interested in. I actually love the M1 MacBook Air. I thought it was a groundbreaking processor with the M1 series chip. I actually edited well over hundreds of videos with that product. You can see eight gigabytes of unified memory I did go with the 512 gig SSD, 256 gig is just too little, plus that SSD is slower. You could see an eight core CPU, 10 core GPU, 13.6 inch diagonal retina display with true tone, 2560 by 1640, two Thunderbolt USB four ports, MagSafe three. You can see all the specs. We're not gonna go through every single one of them. You can go ahead and pause and read it if you want. But overall, I'm not gonna unbox it because it's basically you know, the same thing we've been used to from Apple. The only thing I will say that's interesting about this product here is it does come with matching Apple stickers, number one. It also does come with a matching cable for the MacBook Air, which we're gonna show here in a second, the actual MacBook Air. And this is pretty interesting as well. It has dual USB-C ports on the charger, so you can go ahead and charge your iPhone and the MacBook Air at the same time. All right, so here is the MacBook Air M2, and you can see I did go with Midnight. Now, it definitely can look black to certain people, but once you get it in the light, you will see it's definitely a midnight color. It's absolutely gorgeous, and it really does upgrade over the M1 series MacBook Air and just giving you a redesign. Now, I wouldn't call this like a total massive overhaul. It is definitely upgraded, it's definitely redesigned, but it's not like they're changing so much that it makes you feel like you're just getting a totally different product. You're still getting a MacBook Air, but they got rid of that wedge shape. It looks more like the MacBook Pro. 14 and 16, so Apple does a great job at upgrading, but not straying too far from what worked before. So if basically, if you love the MacBook Air before, you're gonna love this one. You have dual Thunderbolt ports right there. MagSafe is now on the MacBook Air. One thing I wish they would've did was what they did on the MacBook Pro series and kind of engraved MacBook Air on here. They didn't do that at all. You can see you have your rubber stoppers right here, and there's the four screws on each end. Not a super upgradable computer, but definitely should be able to be repaired. It's super thin and super light as well. That's my first impressions already. It feels a little bit more hollow, not quite as, uh, I would say, sturdy and well-built like a tank, like the 14-inch MacBook Pro, but definitely feels very premium. Now, opening it up is where things definitely get interesting. And I'm doing this top-down shot, so I'll kind of try to show a different angle in a minute. But you can see right here, you'll definitely see that MacBook Midnight color right there. And I've seen this color on some other products like Asus products as well as like some Samsung laptops as well. So I'm not super intrigued so much by like I've never seen this color, but I do think it's nice to have it on an Apple product. Now something else I wanted to mention about this MacBook Air M2 is that you can see it now does come with a notch on the display, but that is welcome and for one reason. It's because at least they extended the display and you could see when you do go into stuff like Apple News and other Apple applications, it kind of hides out of the way up here. So it's not really a big issue overall. And at the same time, you do see that you can get, you know, more of an all screen on here versus the older MacBook Air. So let me go ahead and zoom that in a little bit. We can kind of get a look at what I'm talking about. So you can see up there at the top, you'll see that it's just, it's just pretty nice here. It's not fully edge to edge, but it's not bad overall. So you can see, not horrible on the MacBook Air M2. Actually, quite a nice redesign. And one of the main reasons why a lot of people are actually considering this over the newer MacBook Pro that just came out the 13 inch, it just kind of upgraded the CPU on the inside. Now the keyboard itself though, this is a great keyboard. It's clicky. It doesn't have that butterfly mechanism anymore. Very good keys. I also really like something about the MacBook Air because the distance from your hand where the palm rests to the keys are pretty close. You don't feel like you're reaching a lot, kind of like you do on a 16 inch MacBook, for example. So I find that it is easier to be accurate and faster on this keyboard than, you know, other MacBooks. So just something I wanted to note is one of the most comfortable typing experiences on a laptop, especially on the MacBook Air here. So 
an amazing keyboard. It's also backlit and you can see it does have that newer looking touch ID where it kind of matches up with the MacBook Pro 14 and 16. So a lot of MacBook Pro and 14 and 16 influence on this product right here. One thing I notice about this display is that right away out of the box, comparing to something like the iPad Pro or the, and I'm talking about the 12.9 or the MacBook Pro 14 or 16, it doesn't get too bright. It's a 500 nit display. It's brighter than the prior MacBook Air, but it's not super bright. So it's something that really lets you know you're not using the Pro MacBook, you're using the MacBook Air. So something I just wanted to note on first impressions, not a super bright display, but brighter than a lot of other laptops on the market. It's not no dim display, I'm not going that far. I'm just saying by comparison to a Pro Mac or iPad, not quite as bright. But other than that, it is a pretty gorgeous display. And checking out these new wallpapers, they kind of have matching wallpapers for each color. You do have this one, you have this one right here, this one, and this one. I think we're gonna stick with the one that they advertise for the MacBook Air M2 Midnight Colorway. Overall though, I do believe it's very enjoyable display here. You can see plenty of space to watch your videos. And then you do have, you know, plenty of space to go ahead and read as well. So if you're just reading, you know, an article or something like that, plenty of space to do what you gotta do. It's even enough space, I think, at 13.6 inches being bigger than the prior version to go ahead and do some video editing if you would like, photo editing as well. So while this is not the top of the line display, it's definitely enough to do pro-like tasks or just general tasks. So it's kind of a very versatile light machine here in the MacBook Air M2. Now fingerprints are going to happen on the midnight color. You can see I've had this product less than, you know, 12 hours or not even like 24 hours maybe. You can see already getting smudges on the keyboard, on the on the shell. So this is not gonna be the color if you're really OCD about stuff like that, just keep that in mind. All right, so let me bring this all together. Battery life, I need more time with it, but I can tell you the M1 MacBook Air was fantastic. I took this out of the box with 79. I used it for a couple hours already. It's only at 74. So the thing's gonna be incredibly efficient with the in-house M2 chip from Apple with their product, great efficiency, battery is gonna be amazing, I already know that. On here, the trackpad, fantastic. We already know Apple does some of the best trackpads, if not the best trackpads in the business with a lot of nice gestures and just ways to operate it, so that's good. Overall, it's a upgraded MacBook Air M1 and definitely, I think, gonna be the best computer for basically almost everyone if they're willing to you know, sacrifice Windows, if they like Windows a lot. It just has great efficiency, a blazing fast performance, really nice display, it's super lightweight, it's beautiful, and it comes in at a great value. You're not gonna have to pay for MacBook Pro level prices unless you start specking it out. But if you spec it out and you spec it out similar to a MacBook Pro, then the MacBook Pro also goes up if you spec that computer out. So overall, it's a pretty darn good value. And I think it's a Pro-like device, but not quite. And if those people are saying, well, I could just get this instead, you can, but listen, there's a lot of articles saying, just get this, this is like a Pro. No, it's not. The Pro has a sturdier, heavier build. It also has a much better display. It also does have, you know, a little bit better mics and speakers and stuff like that. In addition, it's just an overall more premium, faster product. This is a more of a for everyone kind of product, but still beating a ton of Windows computers on the market. So I'm super happy with it. I look at this as an investment for the long term. It's a great lightweight machine. It's a great entry machine for those of you who want to start video editing, photo editing, stuff like that, or doing any creative work. In addition, it's gonna be awesome for college students who need a four year computer, amazing product. My first impressions are fantastic on this so far. There's not really a lot else to say. I wish Apple would increase the brightness around 800 nits like they did on the iPhone 13. And honestly, this is kind of like the what the iPhone 13 is to the 13 Pro. This is the MacBook Air to the MacBook Pro. That's kind of the similarities. You know how you got the 13 with the 60 hertz display, well, with the MacBook Pros, you get the 120 hertz ProMotion displays. You get the brighter displays, just like you would get on the iPhone Pros, but still an amazing option and kind of the everyone option here. So let me know if you like this color, you like the starlight, you like the silver, the space gray, the classic colors. Let me know down below in the comment section of this video, are you picking up 
a MacBook Air M2. They start at $1,199. You can get this one for $1,499 with the 512 gig SSD. It is up a little bit, but you're getting a much faster chip. You're also getting a nice sizable screen with a new upgraded design. So I think it's worth the a little bit of a premium bump on the price. It's still well under MacBook Pro territory. I'm talking 14 and 16 inch models. Let me know your thoughts down below. If you found the video helpful, entertaining, and informing, click the like button for me. Subscribe if you haven't already. Nick here. Be sure to be well and peace. Thank you.